We were finally on our way to the hospital um, around 1 a.m. I was actually supposed to get induced um, at 39 weeks and 4 days, but I guess our baby decided on something else. We ended up getting to the hospital around, I think, maybe 110, 115, and when they went to induce me, they had told me that I was already dilating. Um, it's really funny because I hadn't had any like really big labor signs previously, and then the night I went to get induced, I actually ended up dilating on my own, so I didn't need that. <laughs> I don't want to show the name of the hospital that I'm currently at, but this is my breakfast that I chose for this morning. I have some coffee. Ethan brought me some ice for my water. And then here, I have French toast, a biscuit, eggs, and then some bacon. And then I also got some cream of wheat. And then I got a banana for Ethan, um, because I don't eat bananas like that. And then I have some creamer and sugar for my coffee. They actually ended up forgetting my um, syrup for my French toast. So Ethan actually went down to the cafeteria to try and go grab it. And then I'll try to cover this. This is baby boy. He looks tired. <laughs> He's very tired. He's a very quiet baby actually so it's been a really good experience with him so far um, for sure. I am absolutely ecstatic to be not only a mom but just like I don't know to get to be um, a caregiver for a dependent. It makes me feel um, really special in a way so that's been really nice. As I was deciding to get ready at this time, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about my actual experience. Um, so when I got to the hospital, I was two centimeters dilated and they continued to check me um, doing like cervical exams and I started progressing really fast on my own. My water broke, I believe, around three and a half centimeters. And that's when the contractions were really starting to heat up. Like I was actually in a lot of pain. Um, I ended up getting an epidural at five centimeters dilated because I really just couldn't stand the pain anymore. Um, and unfortunately for me, my epidural failed me actually a few times, which is something that I actually was not aware of. I did not know that an epidural could fail. So I actually had to get um, my epidural more than once, I believe. I got it four times. Um, and when I say got it four times, I mean like got stuck four times um, in my back. At least that's what I could feel. And then moving forward, I actually reached seven centimeters before my epidural actually started to kick in. Um, so I was in a decent amount of pain for a while. But once that epidural kicked in, it was it was game time. Like I, I couldn't really feel anything from my waist down. Like you can feel pressure, but there's no pain. There was no pain for me after that point. So once the epidural kicked in, it was decently a good experience. Um, I only pushed nine times until our baby was out, and uh, all of that pain really just kind of subsided once they put him on me. I was just so excited. I remember I was crying. I was like, oh my God, my baby's here after nine long months of pain. <laughs> it was all worth it afterwards um, getting to meet him. So overall, it was a good experience. Um, I did have to wear some ice packs because of how much milk I was producing, but that was about it. So after that, they brought me lunch. This is what I had ordered for lunch. Um, and if anybody knows me, I was trying to pass time. So I had been watching a lot of Judge Judy recently. And then when my time came, I really wanted to show you guys this view. 
I swear we had the best view in our um, room and I had asked Ethan to turn off the lights so you guys could really see. I know there's still a glare on the window, but the city overlooking was so pretty. But I'm gonna go in here and use the bathroom and then I have to come back out here and I have to pump because I am on like a regular pumping schedule. Um, apparently my bosom, I don't wanna say the other word, I don't know what I'm allowed to say. Um, apparently my bosom is producing too much milk. So I have to pump more than others. I pumped, apparently this is not normal, so, you know, whatever, this is what my lactation is, lac, what is she called? Lactitioner? Tishner? Yeah. My lactitioner, this is what she told me. She said that pumping 10 ounces in 10 minutes is not normal, but apparently that's what my boobs are doing. So, you know, we're pumping a lot, but it's good because he's strictly on breast milk. So so we actually got discharged the next morning um, there were some medications that I had to pick up from the pharmacy before we left and then we were on our way we are leaving right now we're about to leave we're waiting for the hubby to pull up the car so I don't have to walk I'm sorry but I'm excited I'm excited and Kyron says hi, and we'll be ready to go. We have now finally been back home for a few days now. Um, the birthing experience, once again, like I said, was pretty good for me, but I also kind of want to talk a little bit about the postpartum experience. Um, like I said, it's only been currently nine days, and I actually ended up with a few infections. Um, Doctor still kind of said they're not sure how I got them, but the killer one was definitely the uterus infection. Um, and then I also ended up getting mastitis, which was really, really painful and has been painful for my chest. But overall, having him here at the house has been a great experience and he's done really well with our dogs. They love him. Um, and then when I'm sitting up, I love reading him this book by Tracy Wolf um, while I'm breastfeeding or pumping or even when I'm just like rocking him back and forth. And then this was the pump from today. So I got five ounces in here. I got about, what, three ounces in here. Um, and this is just the pump from this morning. I have to basically wake up, you know, every three hours and pump. Um, and I have come to the realization that I'm an oversupplier. So I have a ton and ton and ton of milk. Um, yeah, so we're going to start freezing it because he has more than enough inside of the fridge. So he's been spending a lot of his time with us in his bouncer or we'll just kind of hold him and walk around. He really, really seems to love the bouncer. And then here's some photos that we took um, just since everything has happened. And it's been a really great experience. And I'm really happy to share everything with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Peace out.